Good morning, Cubs fam. The executor is here. And we have got the preliminary testing reviews in here. I have not had my hands on this yet. I will be doing that later on my stream. About an hour after this video starts, I'm going to be doing that. And so be sure to come check that out over on the uh, purple platform. Um, and I don't know. So for, well, real quick, first of all, no rogue actions today. We're going to do rogue actions tomorrow. Because of the executor, we Heinz and I both talked about this. We're like, we just need to focus on executor day. We'll worry about rogue actions tomorrow. We'll talk a little bit more about it and some other things in there. But today... All you guys want to hear about is the executor, and so that's all we're going to talk about. Now, executor is very, very beatable. I have got footage right now of maxed out executors getting beat by home one and by the malevolence. And I am hearing of other ship. I'm hearing of Hux uh, beating it. I've got some footage of Hux beating it. Uh, the footage all, uh, it, that I have, however isn't against an ideal comp, and so may maybe I'll show it to you guys anyway by just a quick disclaimer. It's not exactly uh, the best composition, uh, starting with a, with, uh, the, uh, with, with a scimitar, I, I, th I think it is. And so, but I'll, I'll still show that to you. Maybe it holds promise. Uh, but I definitely did not expect to see Home 1 especially beating the Executor. I did not expect to see Malevolence beating it. We have so many counters coming up right now. I haven't even heard if anyone's tested Haldo yet. I think that's one that a lot of people thought might, might be able to get there. And so, of course, it begs the question right away, are we going to see nerfs on this? And I'm honest, I'm going to be totally honest with you guys. I am worried about that right now. because Based on the way CG was talking about this ship, I don't think that they expected it to be performing like this. And maybe they did. Maybe they were just overselling it on purpose to try to sell some packs. I don't know, uh, but I'm also a little bit confused because if it's this beatable and they didn't think it was going to be this beatable, I mean, it's not even like we're coming up with big brain comps here. We're just playing the game. And so anyway, let's let's roll some of the footage and we'll see where this is at. Uh, now, before anybody yells at me, by the way, too, one more thing to call out before I, I play this. Actually, I'll, I'll start playing this footage right, right here. CG knows about this, guys. Okay, please. Don't come to me if they do a nerf. Don't blame me for it. They're aware of this whether I make this video or not. Okay, can we just can we just get that out of the way before you guys start typing that in the comments? <laughs> All right, here we go. So this is Zareth, actually, um, who was testing last night. And we got some video from uh, Zareth that we'll show at the end. The executor on offense is very good, uh, able to auto-negotiate her on defense. And so here we go. Here's the home one. And with Zareth's testing last night, he kind of concluded that it was actually best to start with Slave 1 in the lineup. I don't think a lot of people were expecting that. I didn't hear a lot of the logic behind that. That's just what I saw from his video, um, the, the little pieces I was able to catch. So be sure to check out Zareth's video. I'll leave a link uh, down in the description to all of the videos you guys are seeing on today's video uh, for that. And then, of course, we'll do our own testing over on my stream here in about an hour uh, for as this video goes live. So uh, here you go. It, it does not start out solid, right? Uh, we, it doesn't the executor look good, by the way. Ooh, that looks that looks good on the screen right now. It doesn't look like it's it's gonna be necessarily a game winning battle here, but fortunately, uh, rebels are able to really chew up Hound's Tooth. Rebels do so good on Hound's Tooth. I thought Hound's Tooth would be uh, you know more challenging to chew through with the buffs that it gets from Executor. And so I, I, again, I'm not going to call out right now that this is not working as intended. I do not know nearly enough to make a claim like that, but I'm wondering if it is. I'm, wa I'm wondering if it is. And also one thing I'll establish is I'm thrilled. Look at this. There is, the executor isn't just getting beat. The executor is getting dominated here. And I, as somebody who is wailing on the executor and who is going to have a seven-star executor today... I am okay with this. I don't want my ship to be unbeatable. Um, I think that a lot of people might have a problem with this that have whaled on the ship, especially with how steep the requirements are when you when you shell out on on a unit that much, and it's it's getting beat by a you know a fleet that's this or this is like a you know this was meta two three years ago. Um, you know, I I think some people might have an issue with that. I personally don't like to have a checkmate card in my roster. I would rather have uh, pe have people have options so that I can I can play the game and enjoy it um, without feeling guilty. <laughs> I just want to have fun. So look at that. 
absolutely dominating. And uh, you, you can see here at the beginning of the video, seven star executor maxed out, seven star, everything seven stars there. Um, so here's another home one battle for you guys that I found. Um, this is, I, I don't know if this is the same uh, fleet, but here you got the, a different opening comp here uh, without the, uh, this, I think, is this the same guy? Um, let me just double check. No, it's, it's actually a different account. Um, but I believe this one is maxed out as well. And, uh, this is the other comp with, uh, with IG 2000 in the starting lineup. I I'm curious what this would look like with Zandu blood in the starting lineup. Uh, Zandu blood has, uh, you know, a little more of that, uh, opportunity to apply the breach, which could make a big difference. But so far, I'm not seeing, in any of these battles, I'm not seeing that ult proc uh, with the executor on defense. On offense is a different story. It's wrecking everything on offense. And so maybe, maybe that's just it. Maybe executor is just meant to be a trump card on offense, and it's not really that defensive of a ship. Uh, that, that could be. That could be. I, it doesn't feel to me like that's what, uh, w as I interviewed uh, C.G. Miller, and I've seen comments on, like Dojo was on the SWGOH um, events Discord server, and somebody asked him if they could beat the executor with uh, their negotiator, and he was just like, "Good luck." <laughs> but may maybe it's maybe that's just negotiator, right? May maybe the negotiator is the only piece that struggles. But uh, Home One, Hux, and uh, Malevolence are able to beat this thing. So look at this. It's just I, I I'm surprised. I'm honestly very surprised. I'm very surprised. And, and it's not like uh, the difference with ships. Like, so sometimes we'd see something like this for a day one unit, like a, uh, uh, a Galactic Legend, or I remember it was like this when Jedi Revan came out. And people didn't have all the Zetas. People didn't have all the mods figured out right yet. But when it comes to ships, we don't have mods to figure out. We don't really have Zetas to figure out. So these are maxed ships. And so there's, there's really nothing here that I think is, is missing. We're just, it's just very beatable, which is, I, I want to be excited about. I want to be super excited about. But if you guys have been playing this game as long as I have, it's difficult to get excited about this right now because I've, it just makes me feel like there's a looming nerf inbound on this. So there's two battles of home one. Here, here's some malevolence. Um, let's see here. Uh, credit, credit to all these guys who are, who are getting out there and getting footage out early. And so he is going to attack this middle fleet here with the seven star. All right. And, uh, the tie bomber is going to be part of this. He brings tie bomber in and in, th in this battle, the tie bomber definitely makes a big difference. And, uh, no notice his, his starting fleet here. He's, he's starting with, uh, I think uh, I'm trying to remember it's while it's on the loading screen. It's a tradition. It's just the traditional malevolence opening fleet. It's not really. Yeah, he's just got the the traditional sunfac, bomber, vulture, and nothing like it's just nothing special, right? There's, there's no real theory crafting here. There's no real crazy revolutionary attack strategy that I'm seeing here. It's just working. <laughs> it's just it's just working. Get, get your Anakin out there. It's working. It's working. <laughs> there you go. He's, he's going after Razor Crest first. And I do apologize. Some of the footage here that I'm showing, not necessarily the most ideal quality of footage, but that's kind of what you get on a, on a day one with uh, people recording battles that aren't necessarily making their living on posting YouTube videos. All right, so here he goes. He's going to call Spy in. Get that mark out on maybe Razor Crest. Yep, okay, he got up in Razor Crest. He's going to take advantage of that and light up the crest. Ra the Razor Crest isn't really doing a ton on uh, defense either. Look at that. Just bold. It's, it's really interesting. This is, I, I honestly <clears throat> was really surprised when I woke up and, and started seeing this. Seeing just how beatable it is. All right. Here it goes. Going after slave, slave one when they get the chance. I'm glad, by the way, quick little side note. Who else is glad they have not changed the name of slave one in game? <laughs> and there it goes. It's starting to look bleak because slave one did get that seismic charge off, but here comes a tie bomber and that's just going to help. 
that's just going to help tremendously. Um, and I, that is one thing I will say about this malevolence battle. I, I've heard of other malevolence battles. I don't know if all of them go like this, but it definitely felt to me like that reinforcement moment right there uh, is what saved this battle from being a loss. It really kept things going in the right direction. And also, you're going to see the alt fire on the malevolence here in just a second. That makes a huge difference, too. It, it, it just looks like the AI does not prioritize going after that ult nearly as much. I'm not seeing tons of breach on this team. And I think that's just, if that's the case, it's going to make the executor very beatable, it looks like. See, look at this. We got our ult out there. And that's just going to be game, set, and match. <laughs> that is just going to be game, set, and match. And so I'll let you guys see the end of this battle. Um, all right. Well, you guys, you guys get the idea. That, that, uh, that guy's going down. Um, let me show you this. I, I just want to show you kind of what this looks like. We've got a Hux fleet here. And this is going up against... Let me just double check the uh, stars here. Oh, it doesn't show. I, I did confirm on my Discord server with the uh, individual shared this. This is a maxed out, um, well, uh, a maxed out executor. I just was. I don't think that in this video anywhere they actually showed that that it was a maxed out executor. And this this video has real choppy quality. But but here's the thing. I mean, look look at what this the starting lineup looks okay. But if I remember right, the first reinforcement that comes in is uh, the um, <clears throat> is Skimiter, uh, Mall ship. And if that's what you're reinforcing with, I don't think it's going to be too challenging. And uh, so j just want to call out that this does not necessarily feel to me like an ideal fleet. But still, for a maxed out executor to be beat by first order, I mean, just wow, guys. I, I just... So that's, that's three fleets that, that are able to beat it right out the gate. I, I haven't heard of anyone trying with the negotiator yet. Um, again, it's very early. Based on what I'm seeing, I feel like every fleet beats it. <laughs> uh, it just doesn't seem that challenging. So, um, all right, here we go. This is actually looking a lot more shaky so far. He's got the crit. He's going to boom. Okay. Not great damage. Here comes the AoE. All right. He's going to reinforce. Interesting, he's got Plo Koon as a reinforcement. That's going to demonetize my video for saying that. <laughs> All right, so yeah, see, there's Skimiter. It's, it's like, why, why is that being reinforced? And, and maybe he just dumped it in there as his fourth for whatever reason. And it just accidentally, that's what the AI decided to call, which would be kind of silly. I feel like the AI, you're really going to want that AI calling probably Boba Fett. Or, or IG2000, you're going to want those bounty hunters coming in for sure. Um, so that, that could, that's a big disclaimer on this battle in particular. Uh, let's speed this up, and uh, we'll see how this battle looks um, at the end here. All right, ready to go. Is that on? Yeah, that's on, that's on fast speed. All right, so it's, it's a bit more of a slog. And another thing that I'm a little bit surprised by, bounty hunters get a lot of damage boosts uh, from the executor's kit, and I'm really not seeing the bounty hunters d dealing damage that's that threatening. I mean, obviously we got a decent hit there from Razor Crest, but nothing really feels that crazy. Okay, so here's Boba Fett. Um... That was the right move. We're down to two. There's a stun. You can reinforce or do or add hunted to somebody. I see him agonizing over that. I'd bring in the Thai bomber probably. That's what I'd do. Yeah, that's what he is that what he's gonna do? There you go. Good, good boy. It was tempting to put hunted out there, but I think you need the uh, firepower right now. Here comes that AoE. Thai bomber doing a number on these fleets right now. So he's hopefully gonna pass a turn over here. Yep, there we go. And he's going to... Who's he going to wreck right now? Skimiter. All right. Yeah, that was threatening. All right. And Boba Fett taken out right here. There you go. And yeah, uh, able to get the win. So really, the big disclaimer on this fleet, again, I don't think Skimiter is something you guys are going to have to worry about. And that could have swayed this. And look how long the battle was. Now, he, he was thinking through his attack strategy. But we're almost at time here. 45 seconds left. 
in the battle. He's still got two ships to beat. I think he does end up getting it. Yeah. Look at how hard uh <laughs> how hard Kylo Ren is hitting right now. That is sick. There you go. And there's the win. So wow, first order. Even first order. Able to finagle it. Um now last thing I want to show you, here's Zareth's video. Uh be sure to go check him out. Um I'll I'll move my face here so you guys can see Zareth's beautiful mug. Um this is on offense. The executor is able to auto the malevolence um, full auto. And that's also good. That's good to see for executor owners. Um, it's, it's always nice to have kind of the, that brainless battle if you get the chance. But uh, so working very well on offense. But fi final thoughts here as you guys are watching this auto battle. I am concerned right now that we're going to see a nerf. Uh, this just looks more beatable to me than I feel like CG is wanting it to be. And so let me be clear about my opinion here. I am not calling for this ship to be nerfed. I do not want this, or not the ship, but the, the other fleets to be nerfed. I don't want that to happen. Um, I am just merely suggesting, based on what I thought CG's intent was, that it feels likely to me that that will happen because it just, uh, I, I don't think that they wanted home one, first order, and malevolence fleets handling this relatively easily on offense. I don't think that was their intent. And so I would recommend everyone just be ready for that. Uh, get, get your torch and pitchforks ready, I suppose. Um, I, I really hope that this is just what they intended, though. It would be awesome if this is what they intended. Because I, I just don't like the idea of having a checkmate ship right now. Ships are already, it's, it's difficult enough uh, to, to get into ships as a game mode. And if people are out there and they, you know, they've got this trump card ship, it just, I mean, I, I talked to somebody today, uh, or just yesterday actually, who uh, quit the game just because they're a free-to-play player. They were beating uh, their, their fleet arena, they were dominating, and as soon as Executor got announced, like, okay, well, the only edge I have in this game is gone, so I'm out. And so I, I really hope uh, that this is just what they intended. I just, right now, I, I, I don't have that confidence based on what they've said already. So anyway, come over to my stream. We will be live here pretty soon. We'll, we'll unpack this way more. These are just the initial preliminary uh, reviews of what we are seeing with the executor. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Drop a like on your way out. And as always, my brothers, don't forget.